Hey guys, how are you today? So here you see this wet, hot mess, or I'm sorry, just a wet mess on my ironing board. Um, we're gonna film a little something here uh, on my ironing board um, just because I think it's more convenient. Um, but anyway, I wanted to create some little motifs that I could use in my slow stitching. While we're talking about this, I'm gonna iron these. Um, but I wanted to really create them with my own unique designs and I want, oh, that's not even hot. Um, I guess we'll iron that in a minute. I wanted to create them with my own unique designs, uh, but at the same time, I'm being kind of lazy and I didn't want to like draw things onto fabric, which you can do to create an, uh, a motif that you can embroider. So you can use a fabric marking pen to draw on the fabric and then embroider the drawing that you created um, and then um, if you get the fabric wet, then it disappears and then you're just left with the embroidery, which you can use in slow stitching and fabric collage and any number of other mixed media applications. You, but you have your own unique, one of a kind um, little appliques that you've created. I'm gonna iron these dry um, that you've created um, of your own work, which is fun. Now. I just said I didn't want to be bothered drawing anything. So I thought, you know, there's got to be another way. Plus, I have my own line of rubber stamps and stencils, and I'm always looking for new, fun, unique ways to use those designs in my other artwork, in other applications. So I, I've been experimenting for quite a while, and these are three that I created today, this morning, using this rubber stamp set from my design line in my Etsy shop, and this is stamp set number 11. I used this stamp here to stamp on this little piece of fabric. The, the trick is you need an erasable fabric ink pad. Um, so this is by Colorbox. I don't honestly know if there's other ones out there. I've just always had this one. Um, I am currently looking for a reinker for it, which I haven't found. So I don't know if they don't make it or I might have to go to Colorbox's website and ask them. Um, anyway, if you get an erasable ink pad, fabric ink pad, this is the same kind of ink that's in your fabric marking pen. So when you get it wet, it disappears. Um, so you can take this ink pad and you can stamp on fabric, which I've done here. This is the feather design from set number nine, which is this, whoop, where are we, this set here. Um, and then once you embroider it, here's another one I just finished. Once you embroider it, and this is from stamp set number, before somebody asks me, this is from Modern Atomic set number two. Oops. And I'll link my Etsy store in the description below. It comes with all of the stamps that you've been seeing. I keep my, my they're uncling mounted. Um, I keep them in CD cases. That's how I store them. Anyway, this is one I just did. And um, I decided to, uh, let's see, on this one, I did a combination of backstitch and French knots to get this unique look. And on this one, I decided to do, it's basically a French knot with a long stem. It's called pistol stitch. Um, and you can find tutorials for how to do all kinds of embroidery stitches on YouTube. Um, and there's a lot of different ones and you could, I, I tend to go for the quick, easy stitches, um, but you could do something more complicated. So once you have it all stitched, now you'll notice that some of the design on the stamp came a little close to the edge. So I chose not to embroider those, and I chose to do rainbow thread colors on this one. So once you have that done, then you just get it wet with water. You see the ink starting to fade. And then I just leave that sit for a minute. And as it gets wet and soaks in, the ink will fade. That's exactly how I did these. And you don't see any blue ink on them anymore. And then once the ink is faded, then I just press it flat. 
So I'm doing another one right now, and this is the feather design, and I'm gonna just do a back stitch on it. But you could do anything. Okay, I didn't want to drive you all crazy making me making you watch me stitch this whole feather. But I'm again I'm just doing back stitch. Which we've gone over before in other slow stitching videos. And I'm just following the lines that were inked with the erasable ink pad from the rubber stamp design. In this dark gray thread. And creating a unique fabric embellishment that I can use on other works. Creating my own art parts, if you will. Which I think is more fun to use sometimes than the store-bought stuff. And in this time right now that we're having here in 2020, it's hard to get out to get stuff. And if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're watching this in the future, just Google the year 2020, you'll figure it out. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, so now I'm gonna just tie it off in the back. And like the one the other one, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna get it wet front and back and let it sit for a few minutes. And over time, what's gonna happen, like what happened with this one while I was working on the other one, you can see there's virtually no blue ink left. Sometimes you have to get it wet a couple of times before all the ink disappears, but it does go away. Then you can dry it with the iron or you can just let it dry naturally and then you've got your unique fabric embellishment that you created using tools and supplies that you probably already had in your art room and rubber stamps that you maybe aren't using because you bought a bunch of them when paper crafting and scrapbooking was a craze and then now you have a bunch of them that you aren't using. Well, here's a new and unique way to use them other than using them on paper. So I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. Do check out the video description for any uh, materials spoken of in this video. And if I forgot something, please leave me a um, comment down below and I will address that ASAP. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out the video description also for Facebook groups and other places you can, again, follow me on social media support the free content here on YouTube, like shopping in the Etsy stop, shop and maybe buying yourself some stencils or rubber stamps. And um, don't forget to check out your other favorite YouTubers. They probably all have ways to support the free content and would all love for you to do so. So check out their video descriptions, not just mine. Uh, I would love to uh, see what you do with this. So do share if you are in one of my Facebook groups. I would love to see what you do and I can't wait myself to use these in projects. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So that's it for today, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.